If you want your move photos to look like this, well then you came to the right video. I'm gonna show you the easiest ways how to process a photo like this with just a few steps. You're gonna to wanna to save this video to your playlist so you can refer back to it. And I have found this to be the simplest way to process moon photos. Anyways, let's get into it. So for your first layer, you're going to put a picture of the full moon. Then for your second layer, go ahead and put any gibbous moon. So I have a waxing gibbous here. And what that is, is basically when the moon is transitioning into a full moon. And you could call this whatever you want. We'll probably just call this Terminator. No, not that Terminator. I actually found that term very funny when I first heard it. But what the Terminator essentially is, is the line that separates the illuminated side of the moon from the dark side. Okay, and now with your second layer, you're going to want to turn down the opacity. That way you can line up your two moons. I believe I took these pictures on different parts of the year. So I believe the moon was closer in its orbit with the gibbous side. So you might have to do some adjusting, but they should line up pretty easy. You can also use some of the craters as a reference point. And we'll move this around. And I would say that that looks about right right there. Okay, now go ahead and turn your opacity back up on your second layer. If you're someone that also likes to keep things organized, you might want to name these. So we could name our first layer full moon. And then we can name our second layer Terminator. Go ahead and add a layer mask onto your second layer. And then select the gradient tool. And I found the first one on basic seems to work the best. Go ahead and just play with this for a little bit until you like the results. and you'll be pretty surprised of how good it looks already. Next, go ahead and select your moon layer and create an adjustment layer for brightness. So we'll then go ahead, you can lower your brightness and raise your contrast until it looks something like that. Just look at that already. Just those few steps and it already looks like this. I'm telling you, this, this is really the easiest way to go to just get that amazing 3D effect. So now go ahead and make an adjustment layer for your second layer. And this is where you can adjust your saturation. So I took my moon photo actually when it was smoky out. So it kind of has a orange tint to it. So let's lower that saturation. That way it gives it that natural moon looking color or not color and that looks about right right there also photoshop whenever you make a layer on top of everything it affects everything from below so if you just wanted to affect the layer below that go ahead and press alt you'll see this arrow key and that will just affect your layer below but for what we're doing let's just go ahead and keep that to affect all your layers and there you have it. That looks awesome. Just for those quick, easy steps, that's that's pretty amazing. So you could go ahead and save that. And that's it. That's that's an awesome looking picture to show your friends and family. pretty much it that's gonna wrap up our episode so all you really need is just those two photos and you could get an amazing 3d moon effect 
So if you have any other tips or guides, something that you want to share to this video, go ahead and comment below. Other than that, I want to keep it easy and simple and clear skies.